In this video, I'm going to demo a very simple example of using JavaScript in an HTML page. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a programming language that adds interactivity to our websites, for example, games, responses when buttons are pressed, or data is entered into the forms, dynamic styling, animations, etc. In this video, I'm going to use a simple HTML page and add a JavaScript function which is invoked when a button is pressed. So to begin with, I'm going to use Sublime Text 3, which I downloaded in one of the previous videos. I'll change the encoding of the file to HTML and start by creating an HTML by using the shortcuts of Sublime Text. Let me give this page a title as JS Learning JS is JavaScript in short. So let me save this page as JS Learning .html. The way you enter a JavaScript is by using the script tag in the head. The type attribute to the script tag is no longer required, but it's okay even if you have it because JavaScript is currently the default way of scripting the website. Earlier, we did use VBScript as well, but that is no longer used anywhere. In order to add a button to my web page, let me add the button by using the button tag. For those browsers which do not recognize the button tag, I will add a type as button. I will associate a function on or a click event to this button by using the attribute called as on click. I will uh, let let's call a function called function click for example, and let's give it a text called. Let me add a paragraph with uh, ID as my para. Let's add some initial default text to this paragraph by calling it as, uh, let's say this is a demo paragraph. Okay. Now let's write the function which is used or which is invoked when the button is clicked. In order to add a function in JavaScript, we use the keyword as function by giving it a name called function click. If there are any arguments that you want to pass to this function, we may supply that in the parentheses, but right now we do not have any parameters to pass to the function. And within the curly braces, we put the, fit, we put the function body. Now, the intent behind the function click or when you click on this button, I want to change the text of this paragraph. In order to change the text within this paragraph, the first step that I need to do is to access this paragraph. How do I access this paragraph in my JavaScript? We have something called as the document object model. So let's access the paragraph by using document dot get element by ID by passing in the ID. So that gives us a reference to the paragraph that we want to act on. So let's take the paragraph into a variable, which I call it as X. In order to define variables in JavaScript, we use the keyword called as var. Every JavaScript statement is terminated by a semicolon. Though the semicolons are not required, but it's a good practice to add them after every statement. Now, I want to modify the text which says, this is a demo paragraph when I click on this button. In order to change the text within the paragraph, every element has a method called as inner HTML Remember that the HTML in this is all in caps. I want to set the text to, let's say, hello world from JavaScript. Let me terminate the statement by using a semicolon. Let's save the file and go back to my browser. Now here we have the simple paragraph. Let me zoom it a bit so that it's visible and a button which says click me. The intent is that whenever I click on this button here which reads click me, this text here is going to change to hello world from JavaScript. Let's try clicking on this button. 
Now, as you can see, the text is now changed to Hello World from JavaScript. JavaScript also comes built in with several objects. So let me comment this line here. And in this example, I'm going to set the date on the uh, HTML paragraph by using one of the JavaScript's built-in objects called date. So in order to get the current date uh, in the form of a timestamp, we could use the built-in object called as date and call it without passing in any constructor, any value to its constructor. This line here is going to return the current date. So let's get back to the browser and see how does that affect our output. Let me refresh this. And now once I click on this button, which reads click me, it is currently giving me the date. So I'm in the MDT time zone and the date here is April 7th and this is the current time. We can also perform complex operations here. Let's consider an example of iterating through a list of array. So let me comment out this line of code here. Let me create a array, which is, uh, let's call it as a variable in the name, with the name as array. And let me insert some numbers into that array. The thing that I want to do here is I want to append all these elements in the paragraph to uh, all these elements in this array to this paragraph here. I could do that by calling x dot inner HTML repeatedly by on each of these elements. But there is a easiest way of doing it by using a for loop. So let's use a for loop by using the keyword for and let's say I'll consider the uh, for loop indexer i by setting it a value to zero. It is not necessary that this value has to be declared or the indexer has to be declared, but rather it's just a good practice. So let me create a variable called i. I want to continue with this for loop until there are elements in the array. So I can access the length of the array by calling a property on it called length. Let me increment the value of the indexer. Let's create a temporary variable called text, which initially has a empty value. While iterating over the for loop, I want to append the value of the array at a particular index to that variable called as text. So in order to access the elements in the array, I would use the array indexing notation by passing in the indexer as an input within the square brackets. Let me attach a line break after reading every element. At the end of the loop, after we are done with iterating over the elements, I would call the paragraphs inner HTML and set the value of the text to it. Now let's save this and go back to our browser. Let's refresh the page. So this is my demo. Uh, default text that is present on the paragraph. On clicking on this button, I want all these elements here to appear line by line within this paragraph. So let's check that by clicking on the button. And there you go. All the elements of the array from one to seven here are displayed line by line in this paragraph on clicking on this button. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we'll be discussing an introduction to jQuery.